Well, hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here we're showing off the nightclub. The nightclub garages. And we're starting out in basement level one. Where we have the classic delivery vehicles all done up in winter camo with crew over chrome and where possible red highlights. You'll notice I don't have the big uh, missile launcher on the top of the truck because you can get stuck places where it won't clear bridges. And that is a bigger problem than, you know, the anti-aircraft support needed to get by. And while we're at it, let's let's go out of out of phase here a little bit, go right to the terabyte garage. Where you'll see kind of a similar theme, kind of similar colors. Terabyte is here, and of course, if we go inside, doobly doop de doop de doo. We have an oppressor mark douche, which is not done up in. This is kind of. I think I had this set up as the lemonade man kind of themed sort of deal. Because if I was going around psychotically using the oppressor mark douche, I'd probably be. Dressed up as the Lemonade Man. Should I have done... Should I, should I have them match? Should I re, repaint this? That's that's a question for another video. Should I repaint one or the other? Should I make this the Lemonade Man Terabyte? Or should I make it a crew over chrome, you know, douche mobile? I don't know. But we're just going to get that out of the way. Why don't we get to more complicated discussions of vehicles? Shall we? All right, let's go into the proper viewpoint here. This is a this this floor is a bit of potpourri, and we'll go around here. I talked about both these cars. I got them for free, of course. You know, we have the Night Shark. This is done up in Lemonade Man lemon lime colors. This is this became um, more of a St. Patrick's Day special. What is that? The Revolter. This is my St. Patrick's Day Revolter. Plus, they originally matched, then I, I do this one up because I needed something for St. Patrick's Day for sports card races. It's a quick car, but it has some weird physics stuff that goes with it, with the jumps. So, you gotta be kind of careful. It sometimes just doesn't make, make the jumps, but it is what it is. And so, again, these are two cars. Boy, it'd be expensive to replace them, and I got them for free, so I, my tendency is to keep them. A more recent acquisition is the Alpha. Which is done up in a lovely red. Again, it's a removed, uh, a removed uh, car. We can. This is f a FOMO car. So it's one of those things that we keep because. Well, first of all, I really like the Alpha. It is a nice drive. I, I I tend to actually drive this one regularly. It's pretty cool. And now we have the Crossfire. Crossfire is also another good car. Um, Crossfire. It's a full of save. The real car was a Crossfire. Uh, my dear Uncle Butch had one of these for a while. He had an actual crossfire in this color. And as you can see, the, the custom plate, Sick Ticket, that was uh, one of the bands that he was in was Sick Ticket. Spelled, well, the Ticket was spelled out, but Sick, like, as in without, without Ticket. And yet, Sick Ticket, the pun was there. You, you know, that's, maybe that's one of the places I got my love of puns, was, you know, my mom's cousin, Butch. I desperately miss him. He's a really good... So I keep this Crossfire uh, in honor of my Uncle Butch. Really good guy. Um, Devastate. Gotta love a Devastate. It's just lovable. It's very high speed. This does come out to the track periodically. I haven't done it in a while, but we are due. It's definitely due. I do love this car. It's just, it's just lovely. Well, I mean, not lovely. I mean, that is... I imagine a very functional aerodynamic nose because this is a real based on a real car. Someone someone did this for a reason. But wow, okay. We got the Fourth of July special, which is my lowered and drop top chino custom kind of thing, which I've had this one forever. And again, not planning on taking it out and away anytime soon. God love the all American. Chino. Custom Voodoo. This has had several different iterations. This is 
this was done in black and yellow and different other paint schemes and then I was just gonna make it a, a plain Jane Brown but then I saw how the contrast was so good with this you know custom livery and so I matched up the wheels and man that does look good does it not if you don't think it does well then I'm sorry I think it does it just is what it is we'll have to agree to disagree so I've got myself here a, a, a custom voodoo this car, I believe, is removed, so I'm keeping it. But this was kind of a funny thing. I actually saw an Eclipse that looked almost exactly like this uh, on a road trip to uh, down in North Carolina, I think. Was it on the, the, the Carolina trip or the Florida trip? One of the two. This was in the parking lot outside the hotel. I thought, I have to recreate this because reasons. So, it's a what they call it a game. The Penumbra. This is the slower Penumbra. Not the faster penumbra. This is just a regular penumbra that reminds me of a car I saw in a parking lot. So there we have that. Not planning on getting rid of it. Um, okay, so now we have a couple done in nightclub livery. In the purple and gold of the uh, of the Tony's Funhouse. And Futo, obviously. This is, I believe, my original Futo. Which has seen many iterations and paint jobs, but I believe this is the one, the original photo that I grabbed off the street, and that's not going anywhere. So we got that. Another Patriot. I know what you're saying. Wait a minute. Another Patriot. Yes. This one has the side pipes, which you can't get. I know. This one. Are these the side pipes you can get? That's right. I think these are these pipes you can get. So this one might be built up. This might not be an extraordinarily rare one. It's just one of the things you can do nowadays. I did not put the uh, non-functional lights on it. But again, done up in the kind of the color scheme of the nightclub. I did throw the, the Desert Storm paint job on it to go along with it. Because why not? I say again, why not? I don't know. It's, uh, I, I don't remember the, the full thought processes behind this one. There's probably a video. Okay, next floor. And as we go up a level into B3, now you're finding kind of the more classic builds down here, the more classic cars. We got the Joker. Right, you can see where I'm going with this. The Joker Mobile. You gotta like it. It's, it's, it's cool. That's why Roosevelt Valor, because you get more customization out of a Valor. This is my other Frankenstein. We need one for the custom, uh, the custom, uh, what you call it, the, the classics down here. And you'll notice this is just black with the flames. Would have made a black interior, but you can't change the, the, uh, the custom interior on this. But I just wanted one that was that classic flames on black Hot Wheels kind of build. And again, the car sounds great. It looks great. You can't... I have... Probably too many of these, but they're they're ones that are definitely well loved. Let's move our way up. Another hustler. Now I ha I did have the ZZ Top hustler. This one I love the clash of the dark green and the purple, or the the lack of clashing. Somehow those colors call and work to me. Seems like they complement very well. So I have a full fendered, white walled hustler that zips along quite nicely. The pink gasser, the pink uh, Thunderbird uh, peyote gasser here. Beaker's garage and parts, vroom vroom. Not not a straight line. It's, it's not a true dragster. That it's not really fast going a straight line and handles poorly, but it does it does go somewhat fast a straight line and handles somewhat poorly. So there, there's some compromises made, and you can see it with the frame rails are a crew blue in the you know. The whole, uh, the whole structure of the thing. So, nice mix there. You know me and my love of the peyote, so we're uh, not, not the actual plant. I mean, the like T-birds in general. So, that's that. we're not getting a spot out of this. Now, this thing, here you see, it's another, uh, another uh, what you would call it? What the hell? It's a hot knife. This is done in the paint scheme, again, of the nightclub. So, this would be another nightclub vehicle, promotional vehicle, perhaps turbo plate not going to do anything in a race 
but it looks pretty and that's what most of these cars here are to do is to look pretty blade though this thing this has won me some races i have won races with this and uh quite fond of it it's really a nice driving car and uh, again you know blade is de rigueur if you're if you do any muscle car racing and there comes that day where you're like i i'm tired of of racing the meta this will still do you very well like even on um cluster struck like yeah it'll struggle with the turns but it accelerates so well out of the turns it really does hold its own it's a very nice car regular peyote this has been this has had a few iterations of paint jobs and stuff like that but this is i believe my original grabbed off the street peyote from back in the day i've had this a long time very fond of it and as you can see here i have a a, a custom uh a custom tornado i'm trying to think of come up with other words other than tornado i'm like no nah, nah, nah. you can see it's in the same paint scheme here I have thought about throwing a different livery on this, and that may happen yet. But this was like, well, I want to do this. I want to have one. We'll make it look like that. They they look good. It looks as good as another. There's something about, like, you know, whatever gray I've chosen here. It does, does make it look good. And I, I think the paint scheme and the wheel scheme here kind of offsets the fact that the wheels are a little too small on the Tornado Custom, in my own opinion. They just don't fill the wheel wells very well. But it's more noticeable on different color schemes. So this dark gray tends to help. I, it looks a little bit better to me. I, I agonized over this one for a while. Very funny story. I did not realize that the Tornado Custom was a convertible. I just thought it had a rag top. And I thought, well, how come I can't get the other top colors? You know, I didn't know that. You know, it's it's one of those things that once you make it a uh, a custom, you get a convertible top, so it does go down. But that that was hilarious. Now we've got the Hermit. This is this is a throwback to GTA Vice City. Not only is it the Hermes, it is set up as a gang Hermes. This the Cubans car. Yeah, I think this is the Cubans car. The Cuban Hermes. Once again, I love the flames over black. The flames over matte black. I think on my other character, I might have a... Uh, might have a, uh, a... Haitian voodoo. But obviously not on the same character. Oh, no, no, you can't put them next to each other, right? <laughs> Although I do in, in my... My garages in GTA Vice City. Should I do a GTA Vice City garage tour? I wonder if that would interest anybody. We may do it at some point. We'll just see what happens. Then you got, of course, the, you know, the, well, I of course, the Mamba. I was saying Tampa. I'm like, it's not the Tampa. There's so many cars. Yeah, so you have the Mamba, and I've got the Mamba done up exactly like the, the car you get when you do one of the business battles. This car falls out of a truck. And then you bring it here, and the car disappears, but you get to keep the, the stuff that was in the trunk. Well, why wouldn't you keep the car? I mean, just for traceability and all that, yeah. But, I mean, wouldn't the temptation be there just to keep the darn Mamba as it is? And that's what I've done here. I've kept the Mamba in, in, in some... Not, not really. I mean, I just bought the car and painted it this way. But, I mean, that the idea is, roleplay-wise, we kept the car. And so... Let us move on. Okay, level two. Let me see. Am I recording? Let me make sure. Okay, level two. Now this really got, gets into the whole nightclub. And who would you have at your nightclub? Well, you'd have Johnny English, wouldn't you? Or in this case, Mr. Bean. Got a little Rowan Atkinson reference here. So here's the Bean Mobile, only done up for racing as you have to have it done up for racing for AC Classic races. This is, of course, you know, something that I use regularly whenever those are available. And that's that's certainly, we're not getting a parking spot out of this. Coquette Classic here. Is it a classic? Is that what they call them? Yeah, Coquette Classic. This one is done up, of course, just like the one from The Spy Who Shagged Me. And speaking of The Spy Who Shagged Me, you see we have kind of a match set here. Between the Swinger and the Coquette Classic. 
Yeah, they'd be at the nightclub, baby. Yeah. You can see that. I mean, that, that, that makes sense. If you're going to have these cards, park them at the nightclub. Now, this this car actually is an homage to a black Porsche that's owned by a good friend of mine who's a really, really complicated fellow. I mean, he's an engineer. So they go, well, he's here. That's all you need to know. But he's also an artist. He can work with, you know, fine stones and make it, does jewelry. He's a, he's a rock collector. Um does a lot of work with glass and then he somehow was involved with a lot of musicians and he, he's actually you can see him out in LA at the nightclub is is where he's been you know in, in his past I think he's he hangs out I want to say with you know he knows the bassist from uh, Disturbed whichever wherever the Christian that one is uh, he knows the, you know, th that member. He knows some band guys. He knows some producers. He was involved with some art stuff with racing teams and music and a lot of different things like that. And uh, and he's uh, working to be a minister. So in, in especially focusing in music ministry. So he's a very complicated guy, but he's also extremely humble and doesn't tell anyone he has a Porsche. He refers to it as the black car. We get work called it Black Beauty. He's retired now. But uh, many times I've gone to pick up the Jamaican food in Black Beauty. And it was always a nice experience. I wish I could get the tan interior in it. Unfortunately, I can't change the interior on these cars. But, uh, yeah. It's, a nice, it's, a, it's a, an early 2000s aero kit. Factory aero kit Porsche. Really nice. So I have that here. Then, yes, of course, we have the Hateful Machine. With the license plate, Hateful. This was recently in one of Bruffy's videos. It made it in right after he got done taking uh, the thumbnail. I mean, I got my, uh, my what do you call my Swift uh, Bravo, Swift Flying Bravo helicopter into the thumbnail for the one video. And then I tried to, I was trying to bring this over, for, but then they finished and blew everything up. And then this got blown up as well. I don't know if you ever saw the fact that it says hateful on it. I forget. I, mean, I think the, the F620 was hateful back in the day. But compared to a lot of stuff now, it's not that bad. I mean, in my own opinion. And yes, that is an attempt at Bruffy Orange. I, I'll never know if I got it right or not. But I can see Bruffy. Either Bruffy's at the uh, the nightclub or RDT borrowed it to go to the nightclub. That's why I'm, that's why I'm running with this. Now, if, if Nas were here, he would definitely be in a Miata. There's just no way around it. So this is this this is the story I'm, I've got, and I'm sticking to it. So one of them, some of them are here at the nightclub. Then we have the pair of James Bond cars, and it's really kind of funny because this has the fake guns and doesn't shoot. This one I haven't mounted the machine guns. See, they have the little doors where they could come out. But if you mount the guns, then it looks just like that one. So I figured, well, let's keep it, keep it separate. And you know, the other the other trick of that is those, those car mounted guns never really work all that well. So this one has the oil slick, that has the fake guns. This is the JB seven hundred. That's the JB seven hundred W. And then you can imagine there's some Casino Royale stuff going on here, like in the one movie where there were multiple James Bonds. One with some were more fake than others. I, I haven't seen the movie. I've seen clips of it. I have to go through all that. I think that was a Peter Sellers was in that. But um, so we have a couple of JB 700s. We have the Ardent, and this Ardent is set up like the one that James May uh, used in the Argentinian episode, where everybody tried to kill them. And. I would like to think if you got it back, yeah, it does have guns on it, and they probably could have used that then as everyone was trying to kill them, the entire mobs of people. Not that they would want to, like, machine gun the ankles of everybody who was trying to kill them, but, like, you know, if you really got backed into a corner, it would have been nice to have. But, uh, yeah, very nice car. I'm very fond of the art. I, I had this before they made it raceable. It is now raceable. It's still not quite the pace of the top two, but it's not bad. You can, you can get by with it. I'm very nice, happy with the Ardent. Um, now the Paragon, the Paragon R here, is this the R? This is the Paragon R. This is a good runner. I have it here because it's very British and everything else is so British and why not just have it here? It's whoever be driving this would also be at the nightclubs. Who takes 
a race car to the nightclub. The kind of people who go to nightclubs. So that's one of the things that we have here. This is a keeper. Gotta love the Paragon R. Is that even... Is that removed? Can you get the Paragon R now? You gotta be able to get the Paragon R, don't you think? Uh, two-door. It is a two-door, right? Dooby-dooby-doo. Okay, Krieger, we're getting into where if we don't see it soon. You still get you still get the Schlagen. Okay, that's good. I don't think it's here. No, the Paragon R has been removed. So I mean, you know, obviously we're gonna have to keep that. And now you got the what you call it, the the Rapid GT Classic. Which I have done out, you know, as far done up as far as a James Bond car from what was it? Which James Bond? It was one of the Pierce Bronson ones, I think. Pierce Bronson, Rosden, Brabison. I don't know. But they, they had a brown Aston Martin in one of those. It's the one where he gets it, it, it hits the button and he gets skis on the front or something. I think I forget. Uh, that's the Living Daylights. Might be from the Living Daylights. So yeah, another James Bond reference here. Some a lot of a lot of it's very British kind of thing. Oh, by the way, the, the guy who owns uh, this car, in case you think that's not British enough, uh, he does have an E-type. So I don't know that it's still it's running yet, but it is an E-type. So we've got one more floor to check out. That is the main nightclub floor. I knew that there'd be someone kicking a fuss over the tab. That's why I saved this for last. And here you have the uh, the limo done up exactly as the other Patriot was in the colors of the nightclub. With the license plate blank. Actually, my brother-in-law had that license plate for a long time. You know, someone writes, well, what's the license plate number? Blank. It causes all kinds of confusion. Um, fuss over the, the top. That's better if we go in above, right? But yeah, so this is my Patriot stretch. I keep it here like it's something you could do for nightclub stuff. Although I think when you... I thought when I did that, I would be able to use it in nightclub uh, popularity missions. And it turns out, no, you can't. You still get the, the white one. Let's open the safe and grab some cash and then we'll throw a guy out. I am running in passive mode right now. That's why I was sure to get... The throw the guy out mission as opposed to the go drive some of the hospital mission. I think it was Pankrow Jones that showed cued me in on that trick. Thank you, uh, Pankrow Jones. Kicking up a fuss over his tab. Let's go back to see here. Crack a knuckle. And you're gone. There you have it, folks. That is the nightclub in a nutshell. I'm going to let this go for here. We'll move on to the next garage for the next video. But I think that was enough to cover in one shot. Yeah, we gained no parking spots. Uh, there's none to be had here. And that's that. So we still only have two parking spots. We'll have to see if we can find any maybe in our next venue. We'll see how that goes. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen... This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.